Hi guys, I am on my way up to Dunk as well, on my own, just to do some circuits. I haven't actually flown the plane for over a month, um, part except in Norway. I'm not taking cameras with me on this flight, it's just circuits. Just want a bit of time alone, me, the plane, no distractions, I'm going to be practicing different flap settings, practicing my landings, practicing uh, low speed landings, there's no wind today. So it's no gusts, so it's a good, good day for practicing that. Um, and after my flight, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a subscriber update. Zero four right hand, good at zero two five. I really love having a handheld radio on while I'm getting the plane ready. Just means you're already your situational awareness of, of the circuit, especially as I'm going to be doing circuits today. Your situational awareness is is uh, warmed right up before you even start. So if you haven't got a handheld radio, I really recommend getting one. Something else I've been meaning to get around to do for a long time I hadn't is update the firmware on this. And I have to say, actually, I was putting it off as I thought it was going to be a complicated faff and a hassle, but it really wasn't. Um, there's a simple web page. It took me five minutes uh, at my computer. Um, you don't need any connections. You just need to have just as long as it's, your computer's got Wi-Fi. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to uh, where you can update your firmware. I'm, I'm up to date on 2.33 now. What I'm curious to see is whether or not it makes any improvement to this dropping out, losing the GPS signal and losing the Wi-Fi connection to the iPad. Be curious to see if that helps. I've been listening to all of the RT at Dunk as well on this busy, sunny Sunday. Something occurred to me, which is that I know that my RT is barely adequate, right? I, I, I know that there's certain areas where I know it's absolutely fine, but as soon as I get outside, basic routine stuff, my RT phraseology is rubbish. And I'm listening to this now, and it's occurred to me that if you're a student pilot and you're listening in to ATC or an aerodrome, uh, air ground information, whatever, you don't know whether what you're listening to is right or wrong. <laughs> if you're a student, bear in mind that when you're listening to air traffic control or just to the, the radio at a local aerodrome, at least half of the stuff you hear is not correct, not technically correct. Um, a lot of the time it's because there's people who've been flying a very long time and they have their own way of doing it and they don't really go very far away and that's, that's fine. I know that in theory we're supposed to know perfectly on top of our heads what it should be, but clearly that's not the case for very many people. And again, if you are a student pilot because you're going to become an airline pilot, then that's your chosen career path and that's different and you're going to be a professional pilot and therefore your RT has got to be professional as well. But if you're like me, only setting out to be a private pilot for hobby, for private purposes, flying yourself around for business, for family, you know, it's, it's much harder. First of all, because it's not your profession, you don't have the time to study. And secondly, you're not flying as often as, as people who are trained to be a professional pilot are. So yeah, it, there are arguably greater challenges for GA pilots than, than for uh, full commercial pilots, I think. I need to shut up yakking and get on and get my plane ready to go for these circuits, otherwise I'm never, I'm never gonna get up in the air. So what I've already noticed, just from connecting up, I haven't started the engines or anything yet, but uh, just from connecting up my Sky Echo, which I'm trying a new location for it back there. Uh, so, uh, but it connected up much, much faster than it usually does. Um, like less than a second, the Wi-Fi was connected, less than a second, uh, it had the, G yeah. So, and even though it's under the wing, it's got it's showing full GPS signal, so uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, going to enjoy the, the uh, firmware improvements on the Sky Echo. Okay, all my checks are done. I've been very, very thorough and careful because this is the first time I've flown the plane for a while. Topped it up with a quart of oil. First time I've had to do that since I was in Denmark on that Norway flight. Um, and I'm sorry, but I can't welcome you on board this flight because I want to have zero distractions, no, just myself and the plane. Some circuits, some local flying, and just playing out the cobwebs because I feel like I got cobwebs after just a few weeks. Ah. 
I think this might be one of the, my favorite moments of a flight, actually. I enjoyed the whole flight, but this moment here is a real, it's the moment you get to, you have to, you can, you can drop your guard at this point, you know, you know, your power down, brakes on. So you can actually go, okay, I no longer find the plane and I can start to enjoy that flight. Um, that was just a short half an hour flight, but it just never ceases to amaze me how quickly you can get rusty. Since I last flew this plane, I've flown the 180 in Norway. This is so different in, in many different ways. And when you come back after having flown another plane, there's a bit more refamiliarization necessary. Um, even and even with your home airfield, I felt I had to actually refamiliarize myself with. That. You know, I haven't done circuits on the 04 circuit for a while, and just refamiliarize, reposition yourself. Staying current as a PPL, never mind the legal requirements. It's bloody hard work. I think, honestly, anyone who wants to stay current as a PPR flyer should be aiming or, or scheduling, intending to fly once a week. Half of those will get canceled because of aircraft availability, weather, your health, other things, other commitments, but, uh, and you'll fly once every two weeks. And I think once every two weeks is the minimum you need to fly to remain current at all times. That's just my opinion. It's just my own gut feel, my own personal minimum, if you like. If I haven't flown for two weeks, I know I'm gonna be a bit rusty. Another little update is that, uh, some of you may have remembered, I've, I've mentioned that the plane's gonna be going for a respray. Well, that might be delayed for a couple of reasons. Um, it was going in for, definitely for a respray, possibly for a, an upgraded interior. Um, but I made a couple of decisions, actually. I love, I love this interior. It's the original interior, so it's tatty. It's got holes in it there, and it's got a hole in the squab there. And it's just, it is a tatty interior, right? But that doesn't bother me. Not in the slightest. I've got a great panel. This is 2005 that, was, that panel was new. Um, and although it's a steam gauge panel, I, I'm, I'm, it's got good avionics, and I I'm, I'm, don't even feel the need to change that yet. But what I'm thinking at the moment is that if circumstances and finances permit, I might leave it another year um, and then look at upgrading the panel. But at the moment, I've just had two of the roughest weeks I can remember. It's just like a barrage constantly. Anyway, that aside. So uh, it's coming up due for its annual at the end of this month and in November. Uh, and so I am, because of the delay on the spraying, which suits, suits me fine actually, um, gonna hopefully get a quick annual. After last year's annual, which was a very major annual, a lot got done to it last year. I'm hoping it should be a pretty simple, straightforward, not much to do on an annual, but <laughs> hope is not a strategy, as they say. I have had two of the worst weeks I can remember. I honestly can't remember two weeks back to back when so many things went wrong and bombshells went off. And I know, especially looking at my YouTube channel, I know it looks like I have an extraordinary, extraordinarily fortunate and lucky and privileged existence, and I do. No question about that. Um, that doesn't mean things can't go wrong. They can and they do, and they have. On every single front, it's been one of the worst two weeks I can remember. I mean, so bad that there was a day I could have gone flying, but I just honestly felt not fit enough state of mind to be behind the controls of an airplane. And today's flight was a very, very simple one because I haven't been going for ages and I'm really worried about currency. And I kept it easy and simple, but I'm still distracted. But anyway, good news is there are about five or six more videos coming from my trips to Norway, uh, flying the seaplane, the 180 or floats with Clara, with Archie, and then all, all of us together. Um, there's a lot more work editing those than the normal vlogs, a lot more, which is why they're taking some time. And of all the bombshells that went off in the last couple of weeks, one of them, which is a, definitely a bombshell, might turn out to have a magical silver lining, but it's too early to know. I'll keep you updated. But thank you very much. I think I'm approaching 1,200 subscribers, so welcome to all my new subscribers since my last subscriber update. Um, thank you very much for your feedback and your comments and your, your following. It's a bizarre experience. Um, and as we go into winter, and there'll be inevitably a bit less flying, 
um, I'm going to start talking a bit more about the challenges of being a self-employed parent, balancing fatherhood with work and not giving up on your dreams. Because I've had a few people persuade me that there might be some value in me doing that. Anyway, thanks guys. Hope you're all well. I hope all of you have better weeks than I've had the last couple of weeks. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye bye. P.S. Uh, I just wanted to add on the end of the video that this car is one of my favorite things in the whole world, any type. It is my favorite car I've ever owned. And I'm working on a video all about it because it, it just deserves it. It's an absolute classic. 1989 560 SEL Mercedes I got uh, back in 2015 for 2,000 quid. Um, done a bit to it, but it's basically original and beautiful. But yeah, it's taking some time. I'm not getting the time to do the, uh, the other video that I want to, but eventually I will get it done.